What's going on YouTube? <coughs> wow, I thought I'd be over this one today, but I'm not. Um, what's going on YouTube? Talk to you. I'm uh, to do some production again. <coughs> All right. Uh, now down to sports. Uh, Floyd Mayweather is giving Maidana a rematch. Everybody has mixed emotions. Do you guys want my honest opinion? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Um, the first fight was entertaining as hell. Uh, was one of the few times where Floyd Mayweather had me a little bit um, anxious. He had me scared per se. Um, you know, it's, it was a tough fight. Floyd adjusted again like he usually does. He does it very well. He's the best in the game at adjustment possibly ever. Um, he did it later than usual. He usually after the second round takes control and it took him a little bit longer this time but um for some reason <laughs> for some reason my Donna thought he won that fight and it was close I will say it was close um I do think that it was clear that Floyd won um I don't think it was one of those it could have gone either way type of things but um it was definitely definitely a good fight um I am pumped for the rematch. I, I am a little bit little bit worried again for Floyd Mayweather. Um, it's just one of those things that you know, as a big fan, I get to every time. Uh, Madonna was probably one of the best ones that fought him, as far as knowing his weaknesses and knowing what to do um, against Floyd, which is to keep coming at him and don't let him get in his rhythm. Because once you let Mayweather get in its rhythm, it's over. And I think everybody figures that out the hard way. Um, would a Kota fight have been better? Probably. Um, just because everybody claims that he's back on top after beating Martinez. Um, I'm not even being against Kota, really. I do like Miguel Kota, but at the same time, um, you beat, you know, uh, uh, Sergio Martinez, who couldn't have his knee brace on. Now, I'm not making excuses for the man, but he couldn't wear his knee brace. Uh, we don't know what kind of condition his knee was in. You know, the man's fairly past his prime. Um, you know, so there's a couple things to take into effect. I'm not taking full excuses, though. Um, you know, Cotto did do his thing, and Miguel Cotto is hopefully back on top now that he has a motivational trainer like Freddie Roach. Um, you guys got to remember, not a lot of people do it good like Freddie Roach does. And uh, he's one of the best in the game for a reason. Um, everybody's bitching about... Uh, Pacquiao and uh, Mayweather as well and you know what at the end of the day honestly I'm gonna just tell you guys right now Floyd will dominate that fight any, any day of the week he's not gonna fight Pacquiao the way he fought um, Maidana and the way he fought Cota which is sit there and fight to prove to everybody that he's not scared you know he's not gonna sit there and fight those guys and have anything to prove or fight Pacquiao the way he did those two guys um, because he knows better um, and that's not a threat or a negative comment. It's just he's a smart boxer. Um, but at the end of the day, um, my Donna made with the two. I am very happy about it. Um, I did, but I believe he owes Showtime one more fight after this. And I'm curious to whether he's going to try to resign and get another couple more fights. I think he should end it uh, while he's still undefeated, while he's still on top of his game. Um, does he need to fight Pacquiao for his legacy to be submitted? Um, quite honestly, to me personally, no. Um, he doesn't need to prove anything else to anybody as far as fighting uh, Manny Pacquiao. Now, I know that when I say this comment, everybody's going to come out and say, yeah, you know, it took Marquez four tries. But if an older, mediocre counterpuncher like Marquez put Pacquiao to sleep, What's the ultimate counterpunch in the game going to do to this man? You know, you just have to think about it logically that way versus being a Mayweather hater, being a anti-Mayweather uh, fan. And I'm not, I know I might be a fan myself and I might sound biased, but at the end of the day, none of the statements that I've said about Mayweather have been wrong. And um, 
you know, the man, the the man's the best in the game, and he's probably going to be the greatest of all time at, at some point. Um, that is my personal opinion. I will not say that's an official stat just because, you know, Muhammad Ali still did fight the tougher opponent. He did. Not, it's not that he fought the tougher opponents, but he did have tougher opponents in his prime. Um, who knows if there were better fighters and Floyd just made him nothing or we don't know what the case might be. But, um, you know, that argument will still always be valid till this day. And it's all debatable, but it is what it is. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, we can definitely, you know, set this out and go ahead and have a talk for him about it and see what what's good and what's not good and what's right and what's wrong and um you know definitely look forward to september make sure you order the pay-per-view and um as we like to say man just keep your eyes open for it and let's get it let's go floyd money team I just know what I know. I'm talking old sparks. Bye. Ride for a dollar bill. Famous up in Hollywood. Hot in the Cali Hills.